Hello my lovely Cancerians. Welcome to your April 2020 reading. I hope this reading finds you well, finds you healthy and surviving this time, this global time. So stay, stay well and stay healthy. This is a general reading for you, my lovely Cancerians. It's a reading for Cancer Sun, Rising and Moon Sign. Also listen to your Rising Sign and Moon Sign. Some months they will resonate more for you than your Sun Sign will. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting on my channel. I really appreciate um, all, all the support. Um, very much appreciated. If you'd like to book a private reading, follow the link below to my website and you can book a private reading from there. So let's get on with your, um, your monthly reading and see what's in store for you. It's interesting, you know, because I feel like for you, my lovely Cancerians, it's going to be uh, the, the start of a, um, a change that's coming in. Um, I feel like I want to say the wind of change is coming in. The tide is turning. It's it's. There's going to be changes that are coming in for you um, to adapt to, to um, move with. No resistance. You ex just accept what what is going on and just move with it because I feel like it's taking you to where you need to be. What I feel is that the last few months have been laying down the foundations for you to have this new start, this new beginning, this new and the, a new beginning in, in the sense of a new outlook, a new way of looking at things, a new way of doing things, a new way of living, a new way of working. Um, I feel like this is something that's been put in motion for you um, in the last few months uh, and it's, it's sort of coming to a head or a culmination in April. So it's it's about really rethinking a lot of things in your life and um, maybe it's time to open those windows, let the sunlight in and, and see what you need to move out, see what you need to get rid of, see what needs to be replaced. Um, <clears throat> time of big change for you, which is not a bad thing. Which is not a bad thing, my lovely Cancerians. As we move into April, you're going to really em quite embrace it because I feel like there's this real inner strength that's coming. You're going to feel energized, you're going to feel strong, you're going to feel determined and you're going to really feel like a change is what you need. A new way of doing things is what you need. For some of you, there's a move. There's a, a move of, of house, a move of where you live. Um, so there's that sort of change, that sort of big change is coming, a real re-evaluation, but you're going to be really determined and you're going to absolutely take charge and take control in April. You're so ready to do this. You're so ready to bring in the needed changes. For some of you, it's going to be quite big. For some of you, it's not so big. For the older Cancerians, it's, it's about, well, maybe winding up work. Time to enjoy the, the finer things in life. Time to just get off that treadmill. Um, for the younger Cancerians, it's just a rethink of what you want to do. What do you really want to do? What do you want to um, spend your time doing? What brings you passion? What brings you joy? So there's this, oh, this huge shake-up coming for you, this huge shake-up coming for you. And it's, it's interesting because it's crossed with the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is about keeping things real, yes, but what what do you want? What what fulfills you? What do you want to do? Anything's possible at the big at this time in April for you. Anything's possible. What is it that you want to do? Set as many goals as you want. They are they're all they're all achievable. Um, there's no number of goals that you can set and think, oh, I've set too many goals. Set your goals, set your dreams, really um, create your wish list. What is it that you want to do? Because they will unfold for you as the year progresses. So when you've got that mindset of having goals, having determination, channeling that strength, um, you'll be surprised just how much you can achieve, just how much you can achieve. You've got the King of Cups here and that's you, you know, male or female and it's Cancer Pisces Scorpio and for some of you that's you being um, taking time out self-reflection 
Um, what are your passions? What do you want to do? What brings you joy? What and, and it's about, well, this is what I want to do and it's all possible because kings say what they want and, and it gets done. And so it's about you being able to achieve whatever it is that you're wanting to achieve. For some of you, this is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio male or female that is around you that is really underpinning all of this, that plays a big part in your decision-making process, that is, is there... Um, I want to say to you, watch the moods of this person because they can they can be moody, they can swing, they can change. One minute they run hot, one minute they run cold, one minute they want this, one minute they want that. So there's, but there's, that's that's something that is within them. That's something with them that needs to be looked at, that needs to be addressed, that needs to be fixed. That needs, but that's for them to do that. You, there's no there's no amount of you trying to do that and bring in those changes that it's going to work. They need to come to um, that realisation. But nonetheless, it does impact on you, impact on what you're wanting and the direction you're wanting to take. Speaking of direction, isn't it funny? Um, then your next card here is, you know, you're coming to this crossroads. So you've been journeying down your, your proverbial path to this particular point, which is April. And in April, it's, okay, now I need to decide what it is I want to do. How do I want to move forward into my future? And it's a pretty bright future. It's a really good future here. Um, how do I want to proceed? What's going to bring me joy? What changes do I want to bring in? Am I going to continue in the old way or am I going to bring put changes in place? Am I going to do things differently because uh, the, the same old, same old is not giving me the results I need? And I feel like that's on an emotional level. And so it's going to be a point that you're going to reach in April where you're going to have to decide. You're going to have to make decisions and choices, which is going to come up for you. And you're going to be able to do that because here you've got the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands, see, there's an open door behind you. And it's, you know, the Wands is all your challenges, all your lessons, all your battles, all your hurdles, everything you've had to overcome over the years, everything that's been put in your in, in your way that you've, you've successfully overcome them. You've done well with that. And so you're going to decide, well, I'm not going to take all that baggage with me. I'm just going to take what I've learned. And what, I've, what have I learned? Who have I become? What do I want? I've learned what brings me joy. I've learned what lifestyle I want to change to. I've learned what I want to release. And so that's the, the wand that this guy is carrying. And he's going to carry that into the future. He's, what he's learned from adversities that he's faced. And how he's going to t transform that into something that's going to really be uh, better, brighter, happier, more energy, more drive. That's what you're moving to, which I really like. You've got the nine, nine of swords here. So to me, that's you've been thinking about this a lot. That's restless, that's sleepless nights, um, intense dream life, um, not getting being able to sleep through because your mind's active, you're thinking, you're processing, but also when you are asleep, the um, your guides are speaking to you, the universe is sending you messages. So be mindful of what you have a dream journal, record your dreams uh, because there's a lot of mental stuff going on there, there's a lot of learning going on there. If you look at the ceiling, there's a checkerboard chessboard up the top there and that's about your next move it's going to help you proceed to your next move you're going to get inspirational thoughts inspirational ideas um, communication with with your guides that's all there for you it's all happening for you in may in may, sorry in april so be aware of that and it probably will spill over into may as well um, but that does that inner work. So have a journal, write down your thoughts. This is a really good time to be exploring where you want to move to. You're, you've got this great opportunity in April to really set your table, put on your table whatever it is you want. Don't allow other people to put stuff on there that you don't want. It's about you redefining your future, you redefining your forward movement. Okay, because interestingly enough, you've got the seven of wands here. You've got the Seven of Swords, sorry, here. And the Seven of Swords is, um, you know, 
not everyone has your best interests at heart. A lot of people want you to make choices and decisions that are going to suit them, that benefit them, that, that is what they want. And so it really is about you and what you want. Don't allow others to influence what you want to do. This is about you redefining your future, redefining where you're headed, redefining where you're going. This is also about self-deception. So be mindful of any self-deception. Um, be truthful to yourself. Really work out what it is you want to do and where you want to go. About defining what you want. So be honest with yourself. Don't deceive yourself. Don't, don't take shortcuts. Um, sometimes these decisions are not going to be easy decisions. So it's about staying strong. You've got the strength card in the very beginning. So really ask yourself the hard questions and answer those hard questions. Don't answer them because somebody else is expecting something from you or a particular result or a particular answer. What is it that you want? Also, um, take advice that's been given to you by others with a grain of salt because there's sort of underlying um, expectations that they have of you and, and wanting you to make decisions and choices that they are that's going to suit them, that's going to suit them. You've also got the Wheel of Fortune here and it's interesting because this is the change that's coming. The Wheel of Fortune is turning. Um, things are no longer going to stay the way they always have been. It's time for change. It's time for new learning. It's time to bring in uh, new things. So this is, speaks of the, the uh, new opportunities that are coming your way. It's your time to shine, my lovely Capricornians. It's your time to shine. And the final card you've got here is the um, Ace of Pentacles moving into May. This is new beginnings, new financial beginnings, new beginnings of abundance, joy, health, happiness, finances, what, you know, that's abundance. Um, it's, it's abundance in all things grounded, all things earthed, all things that we want to provide for ourselves and for the ones we love. And so this is the new start that's opening up for you for, um, for May. That's a culmination of everything that's happening in April, moving you forward. I like that. I'm going to... Um, give you a four card spread using these cards that I have here which are great cards they're really playful playful but with a lot of meaning so let's have a look at what they have to say oh and they're ready to ready to come for you because they're falling everywhere Okay, four card spread. Let's see what depth, what detail I can give you in your next. So four cards, more detail for April for this journey that we're on. We're all on it. We're all on it together. Okay, so the first card that you've got here really lovely it's about self-reflection it's about connecting with the spirit self it's about wisdom it's about moving slowly it's like she's got a snail shell behind her it's about moving slowly forward not rushing things not making hasty decisions really reflecting on what decisions you would like to make what decisions are going to suit you um, She's got a light, so your path is lit, but it's also she's got her eyes closed. No distractions. There's no distractions. There's no external distractions, and that's the time we find ourselves in. We're all, we're all um, moving about less. We've got more time to ourselves. Um, we've slowed everything right down, and so it's a time of really reflecting what is it that you want? What are your inner desires? What do you want? Because you're driving this. This is like the traditional chariot, I guess, you know. Um, you're driving this. You're steering this. You're in charge. You're calling the shots. So don't hand that power over to anybody else. Keep that strength for yourself and you really move, move forward this month in a way that you want to move forward. Bring the changes around you that you want to bring in. It's about you 
harnessing that energy and really focusing and, and moving forward. Interesting. You know, the two of wands, you've got, this is self-reflection. This is looking back at yourself um, in a mirror, seeing your own reflection, seeing who you are. No deception, no, everything's stripped away. So it's a time of introspection. It's a time of working out. This it seems to be the theme this month for people. It's a time for working out what's going on within you. What do you want? What are your needs? What are your desires? Uh, what life do you want to create? What are your dreams that you've buried? So time of, of really looking in, looking in at yourself and um, working out all, you know, the direction you want to, you want to take. Because you've also got the three of pentacles here. <laughs> it's like Alice in Wonderland. It's the three of pentacles, time of transformation, time of change. Out of the caterpillar comes the butterfly. And it's, a, it's time for you to emerge by the end of April into that butterfly. But you've got to hibernate. You've got to hibernate first. You've got to process first. You've got to think of your, you know, what it is you want, what do you want to achieve? Um, who do you want to become? Who do you, you know, what do you need to change to become who you really want to be? Really, you know, they're lovely cards. I'm going to give you a card from my heart tarot. Let's see. What? Oh, there they go. You got two cards. I'll give you two cards. <laughs> it's a month of giving and receiving. It's a month of giving and receiving. So don't, don't, you know, give to yourself as well. Give to yourself and allow others to help you. Allow others to support you through this change. It's, it's a two-way street. Um, it's also about having a sense of community. Um, giving back some of what you have and also being able to receive what people want to give you in in you know all all levels not just physical things balance that balances your chakra it brings in that connection you've also got spread your wings it's time to spread your wings and that's how you're going to feel by the end of the month you know, it's time to spread your wings. It's time to, for you to be who you are. And it's interesting because here, your final card here was this, this card of transformation. And then you become the butterfly and you spread your wings and you can soar. You can be who you, you want to be. You can redefine yourself. So use this month really as a month of redefining who you are, redefining what you're wanting. Okay. Oh. Angels of Abundance cards. Let's see what your mantra is for this month. <clears throat> that just jumped out instantly, didn't it? Exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. And, and, and it's exercise the physical body as well as the spiritual body and the mind as well. Exercising it by thinking, by working things out, by writing up a journal. The key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. And I, I would go as far as to say it's, exercise, it's meditation. It's finding that inner peace, inner peace as well as physical activity but it is about not having stagnant energy. The energy is absolutely moving around you. So I wish you many, many blessings. I wish you health. Stay healthy, stay safe. Many blessings. If you would like to book a private reading, follow the link below to my website and you can book a private reading from there. Many blessings to you, my lovely Cancerians. <music>